Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I am back today with another plant video. Today we are doing part two of my spring 2021 houseplant tour. So we are looking at the plants here in my bedroom. If you missed part one where I showed all the plants in my kitchen and living room, I will go ahead and link that up here for you. But let's go ahead and get started. Alright, we are starting over here on my little dresser as usual. And the first one here is a Sansevieria Samurai. And then this one is a Cebu Blue Pothos. This was my first one that sadly started dying, so I had to propagate it a lot, but it is making a comeback. And then here I have an all fern terrarium. And if I get closer, I have some Hartley fern and some button ferns, and there's a big staghorn in the middle there. And then I don't know the name of some of them, but really cool. I have never been able to keep ferns alive until I started putting them in here, and now they seem to be doing really well. Next to that, I have my Anthurium superbum and a Hoya Lacunosa. I still have it in its nursery pod. It's just chilling in this little wicker basket. And then I have a Euphorbia Fire Sticks, I think is this one. Some people call this one a pencil cactus. Then I have this little cube shelf over here. And right here I have a Sansevieria Moonshine that my friend Ashlyn gave me a couple years ago. And a Hoya Pubicalyx. This one is a Royal Hawaiian Purple, so all of the new growth comes in kind of burgundy and then it fades to green. You can't really tell, um, you can kind of see on this stem down here, that red. And then here is a little Oxalis, it was blooming. The flowers are droopy now. This one is a Monstera adansonii. This one is the narrow leaf form. So I think this one goes by Friedrich Stallii. But I ended up chopping it down to the soil to promote bushier growth, and it's doing really well. Here is a black pagoda lipstick plant. It's not in the best condition. It had bugs when I got it last summer. And then I've kind of chopped it up like crazy, so it's just kind of ugly, but it is alive and it is growing. And then here is my Philodendron Birkin. I think mine might start reverting soon because it's putting out some red there. I know they are bred from Philodendron Congo Rojo, pretty sure. So that's okay with me, I like the red. This one is a Monstera Siltipicana. I ordered this one off of Etsy last summer. It was just one little vine. And look at it now, it's so pretty. Here is an aloe vera, not much to say. And then here is my whale fin, Sansevieria. I think I paid like $30 for this one at a nursery and it was just this one big leaf at the time and it grew this whole one in a matter of one week the first week i got it on this shelf i have a hoya shepardii and then this one is calicia repens it's not very happy but it is staying alive i don't do too well with this type of plant anything um, Tritoscantia or Tritoscantia adjacent. Uh, they don't really like me. Anyway, this one is a curly lipstick plant and it's kind of cool because the leaves start out looking flat like this and then as they get older they end up curling in like this and so if you look at the older leaves you can see how they curl in like that. It's pretty cool. And then on this shelf, I have my Peperomia 
Cluciifolia. Some people call this one a jelly peperomia or jenny peperomia. It's another one I chopped to the ground. Here is a peperomia hope. And then down here is my Hoya carnosa compacta. It's a very, very slow grower. And then here I have a little handmade terrarium. This is an old peppermint container, and in there I have a Nepenthes or pitcher plant, and then a bunch of vanilla planifolia cuttings. This one is a Hoya carnosa, just a regular old green one. And then this is Peperomia glabella. Next to the shelf, I have a couple things. I have a Hoya chelsea. And then this one is my Diffenbachia. I forget what variety this one is i think it's a really common one though but jesse got me this one for our anniversary a few years ago and then over here i have some cute little floating shelves and here is my marble queen potho so this is one of my oldest plants still very beautiful very happy, it doesn't ask for much. And then here is my Scadapsis pictus archerius. Mine has been very slow growing lately, and then I'm not sure what's going on with it. It seems to have some type of infection or something going on, but I think I need to cut off all these old leaves here. And then here is some type of Ripsalis. I don't know the kind, I just thought it was cute. And then a Hoya Retusa. This thing is also a really slow grower, but it does root pretty easily, which is interesting. And then up here I have a Trailing Jade. I think this one is actually some type of Senecio. And then another black pagoda lipstick plant this one i got from a kiosk at the mall a couple years ago and it came in this cute little watering can i have this little side table over here next to my closet hello and in this little window mirror thing i have a neon pothos and a marble queen I think I overwatered it recently. <laughs> and then a golden pothos. Um, these have been in here for a few years. I just kind of trim them whenever they get too long. And then down here, hanging on my door, is a Discidia rescifolia. Rescifolia, I'm not sure how you say it, but it's a million hearts plant. If you look at the leaves, they do kind of resemble little hearts. And then on the table, I have a little Syngonium. This one is Maria Illusion. And then a Raphidophora Tetrasperma. Grows super, super quickly. Down here is one of my oldest Hoyas. This is a Hoya Carnosa. I got this plant before I even knew what Hoyas were. This one definitely started my addiction to Hoyas, <laughs> and I love it so much. Here is a Hoya Australis Lisa. It's putting some cute little pink leaves out for me. And then here is a very, very sad looking Peperomia Pixie. Romeo's, in general, do not like me. I have another little table over here on the other side of the room. And on the floor, I have a dwarf Meyer lemon tree. Jesse got this one for me because I was really wanting one. And it will go outside in the summertime. Right now, it's looking kind of sad. But it is working on some lemons here. 
it just finished blooming as well and if you have not smelled lemon blossom before it's one of the most amazing smells i've ever smelled in my life i had no idea and then here is a little dwarf chiflera this one is the arboricola lucan i believe and it looks like it's not too happy with me but i got this one at walmart for like three dollars a few years ago and it doesn't grow that much but that's okay it's still cute here is some other type of lipstick plant this one was sold to me as a rasta lipstick plant although i don't believe that's correct and then here is another hoya puba calyx this one is a silver pink on the top of the table i have my variegated lipstick plant i've had this one for a few years and it is probably one of my favorite plants it's one of my oldest plants as well right now it is flowering it does this pretty much year round and I love all the new growth because it comes in this really pretty purple pink color. Here is a little Hoya. It is labeled Hoya Australis, although I'm not sure if that's correct or not. The leaves are very fuzzy. This right here is a Hoya Australis. And this one goes all the way up here. And it's just kind of doing its own thing. I have this cute little mirror here that I thrifted. Hello. Okay, we're looking at the shelves on the other side of the wall. And here I have a Hoya Numelarioides. I think it's really adorable. It has very fuzzy leaves. And a Hoya Curtisii. And then this one is a Hoya Lobii or Lobii. I got it on Etsy last year and it was snapped in half but I super glued it and look how well it's doing now, it's crazy. This one is Hoya Fungi, I have it in some Leka. And then this one is super cute, it's really fuzzy, it's a Hoya Linearis. I also got that one on Etsy. Here is a Hoya Crinkle 8. Some taxidermy butterflies and some pressed flowers. And then here is Peperomia Ruby Cascade. I am very proud of this one because I was killing it for the longest time and it's making a huge comeback and it's doing so well now. This one is Hoya Melaflua. I've had it for about a year now and it's only grown one new leaf, but that's okay. This one is Tradescantia Baby Bunny Bellies. <laughs> but it really does feel very fuzzy. I think it's aptly named. Here is a little cactus. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but there it is if you are interested in these growing little bunny ears right next to the bunny's bellies. These are fake succulents. Okay, and I have another little cube shelf here. And this one is Senecio mecanioides. I'm probably saying that wrong, but yeah, it is a succulent. Mine was not doing too hot, so I did cut it up a lot. And I'm propagating it, so I have two full jars of cuttings from that one. And then here is my Hoya Multiflora. It is currently blooming. Really interesting. I think the flowers kind of look like little dragon heads or something. This one is a Hoya Carii. This one is Alba Marginata, so it has the variegation on the outside. And then I also have the Hoya Carii with the variegation on the inside. And mine doesn't put out too much variegation. I actually got it like this, but I'm hoping since it's in pretty bright light, it'll start putting out more white. 
I love it either way. This is some kind of cactus. I don't know the kind. I just got it because I thought it was really adorable. Jesse got it for me for Valentine's Day this year along with that little turtle pot. This one is a Hoya Carnosa. Here is my Hoya Crimson Queen. And I love all the pretty pink leaves it puts out and mine really likes to put out white leaves. It has a whole stem right here that's all white. Of course the white leaves are pretty useless but they are pretty to look at. Here is a Peperomia tetragona. And then this one is a Hoya Australis tenuipes. I got this one when it was only a few leaves and I did propagate it and it's also growing. And I forgot to mention this one, but this one is Hoya DS70. I got it from Home Depot a few years ago and it is closely related to Hoya Bilobata. I really love this one as well. It's super fuzzy and I just think it's adorable. Moving down, we have my Hoya Chelsea. I have so many Hoya Chelsea's, you guys. I just adore them. I pretty much purchase them whenever I come across them. And then this one is Hoya Incrasada or Incrasada, depends how you want to say it. Hasn't grown too much. This leaf, however, is all new. And then here I have a Serapagia woodii or String of Hearts. And I am constantly trimming mine. I actually have some cuttings here in sphagnum moss and then on this side I have some Hoya Curtisii cuttings and some Peperomia prostrata cuttings trying to root back there I have another little makeshift terrarium and in there I have some variegated string of hearts cuttings and some string of spade cuttings this one is another Hoya Crimson Queen. I actually combined three of mine to make this pot very full. But I had a ton of them and I really just wanted to save some space for more plants. So I put them all together and it seems to be doing just fine. Next to that, I have two little cacti. This one is a Gemno Calicium Friedrichii, and then this one is a Euphorbia Horrida. Uh, this one is putting a little baby out on top, which is really cute. Down here, I have some more Hoyas, and this one is a Crimson Princess because the white is on the inside instead of the edges. It's very happy and growing. And then this one is a Hoya Macrophylla Alba Marginata. This one blooms for me pretty often and it is growing quite a bit. It's putting out this little red leaf here too. When it's in really bright light, the edges actually turn red, which is cool too. Here I have Senecio candicans or the angel wing Senecio. Mine kind of hates me, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm hoping to put it outside over the summertime and see if it gets better. And then I have a Peperomia argyrie or watermelon Peperomia. Is it argyrie or argyria? I can't remember. Anyway, watermelon pep. Here I have a little Caraluma. And then this one is a Philodendron Brazil. That's everyone on this shelf. And then in between my little cube shelf and my bookshelf here, I have just two plants. I have a Sansevieria Bantel Sensation. This is one I actually bought for my friend Ashlyn and I had to repot it. So I ended up taking one of the pups 
And then I have a variegated Chiflera. Okay, now we are looking at this big bookshelf here. And these are the last plants I have in my bedroom. This one here is a Senecio macroglossus or variegated wax ivy. And mine is so happy and so pretty. I just love it. It grows really fast. It's already like almost to the floor. <laughs> and it will wind around anything you put near it. So I'm always having to untangle it from other things. Next to that, I have another Peperomia Ruby Cascade. I actually bought this one as a replacement for my first one, which I thought was dying. And then a Peperomia Rana Verde. And then here is another Marble Queen Pothos. It's cuttings from my big one. And then I have some Hoya Crimson Queen cuttings in this little party glass. Down here, I have a Hoya Curtisii. I actually have several of these. I think they are so pretty. They look a lot like String of Hearts to me, and they just seem very like delicate and feminine. I don't know, I love them. And then here is my Hoya Bella. I think it is absolutely stunning. And I've only propagated this one a few times because I just kind of want to see how long it can get. It grows pretty quickly and it's one of my easiest plants to be honest. And then here I have a little teddy bear vine. This is another one that's kind of struggling, but that's okay. And then the very last plant in this tour I have another Marble Queen Pothos, and this one I actually refer to as a Snow Queen because it's mostly white. Okay, so that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and let me know which plant out of my tour was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!